One of the most important apps for your Android device is your web browser. It can be difficult to decide which browsers to install with so many to choose from. In testing, the overall speed, ease of use, and built-in features are the key factors that I look at to determine which ones are the best. Today, I will show you the top five web browsers for Android. Instead of putting them into order of preference, I would advise you to try each of these on your device and choose the one that best suits your needs. I'll let you know my personal favorite near the end of this video. Coming up on Tech Gumbo. First up is DuckDuckGo Privacy Browser. For many of you, their search engine with increased privacy is a popular alternative to Google. If you're concerned about privacy, the browser has several cool features. It scores individual websites with a privacy grade rating with a range of A to F. It uses forced encryption to protect your data. They block advertising trackers on the sites you visit. And of course, their default search engine is DuckDuckGo, which won't track your search history. When you launch their browser, you get a clean looking user interface without the clutter found on most browsers. When you're on a website, to the left of the address bar is where you can find the letter grade for that site. The site originally had a D grade, but was enhanced to a C after their privacy protection was applied. To the right of the address bar, tapping the flame icon at any time will give you the option to clear all your open tabs and data quickly. If you're a fan of the DuckDuckGo search engine, then I'd highly recommend that you try out their privacy browser. Having only been around for a short time, it's quickly becoming one of the best browsers for Android. Up next is the Brave browser. Released in 2016, one of the developers of Brave is a co-founder of the Mozilla project and the creator of JavaScript. It's one of the quickest browsers and they claim to be two to eight times faster than Chrome or Safari on mobile for loading major news sites. By default, Brave has an ad blocker built in without the need to install an extension. In addition, it can block third-party cookies, block scripts, and to ensure your connections are always encrypted, it includes HTTPS upgrades. When you're on a website, tapping the Brave icon will show you how many ads and trackers are being blocked, along with other information. You also have the option to enable or disable individual controls. Just be careful turning on block scripts and fingerprinting protection. You may find that certain sites don't load properly. In settings, you can change the default search engine now with more than 20 for you to choose from. If you require a browser that feels a lot like Chrome, but with more privacy and security features, the Brave browser just may be what you're looking for. Puffin Web Browser, which is a favorite of many, touts themselves as a wicked fast browser that can save your bandwidth for those with limited data plans. When you go to a website, Puffin uses servers to pre-process and compress data, resulting in faster load speeds. Your data is also safe from hackers on unsecured public Wi-Fi because the data sent to Puffin's servers is encrypted. When you launch Puffin, the start page is a speed dial to quickly access your favorite sites, along with other tabs for bookmarks, history, downloads, and the settings menu where you can see your data savings. You can also change the theme by tapping on themes. Your choices are light or dark. I find the dark theme is easier on the eyes. When you're on a website, this bar will appear in the lower left, which includes a virtual gamepad, a trackpad, along with an on-screen keyboard. Puffin is great for those of you looking for a quick browser that can also reduce the amount of data that is being used. It's not available everywhere, it's currently blocked in some countries, including Saudi Arabia and China. If you're familiar with the Opera browser, Opera Mini is a smaller, more lightweight option with video compression to save on data, along with a partial ad blocker. Just like Puffin, the speed dial is the default start page on Opera Mini. Below your sites is a news feed that can be customized to suit your needs. When you're on a website, selecting the Opera icon in the lower right will show you how many ads are being blocked for that site. In addition to bookmarks, offline pages, and downloads, you can access the settings menu for Opera Mini. Here you can change the app layout to switch between phone or tablet. Theme gives you different color options. 
and halfway down the screen is night mode. With it enabled, it can make reading easier. Toggling on the switch just below that can help to reduce eye strain. And there's even a slider to get the lighting just right for you. Opera Mini is another great option for those of you that are looking for a lightweight data saving browser for your Android device. Before we get to my favorite browser for Android, here are some others that I really liked that are worth checking out. Dolphin Browser, which has tons of cool features. UC Browser Mini, which is lightweight and great for older phones. Flinks, which loads articles and links in the background for you to read later. Surprisingly, the Samsung Internet Browser is really good. And if you just can't live without Google, there is Chrome, which probably came pre-installed on your device. My favorite browser right now for Android is Firefox Focus, which I prefer more than the normal Firefox browser app. Every session with Firefox Focus is in privacy mode. It has a decent ad blocker, and whenever you close out your session, your browsing history and cookies are automatically cleared from the app. In addition to blocking ads, some scripts are blocked too, which can make web pages load faster. When you launch the browser, the start page is very clean with no clutter. When you're on a website, selecting the menu icon in the upper right will show you the amount of trackers being blocked. Firefox Focus does not allow for bookmarks within the app. If you want to save a site to view later, select Add to Home Screen, edit the name, then tap on Add. You could select Add Automatically or Touch and Hold to add the site wherever you want it. In the lower right hand corner, selecting the Delete icon will close all open sites and clear your browsing history. If you're concerned about privacy and prefer a minimalistic browser that is quick and easy to use, check out Firefox Focus. What is your favorite browser for Android? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and tap the bell icon for more top fives and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.